Nick here, Revs Customs. Today we're having a look at our new mini mill. This is the SEG SX2LF, which is a high torque mill. So this one we picked up as a 500 watt brushless model. The bed is a, it's up here, it's a 460 by 120. Um, your Z height's obviously going to depend a little bit depending on your height of your vice itself, whether you're running a collet or the drill shark. Um, we measured this out roughly at the maximum. You could sort of 120 to the bottom of the vice to here. Obviously it's excluding your thing. Uh, when you change over to a collet, the collet puts it way up here, which means your end mill is actually starting way up here. So all of this is eliminated, which gives you a lot more room. So we picked out this because this is the most sort of budget friendly um, brushless one. It's nice and quiet as well. Obviously brush motors have got, brushless motors have got a lot more torque than a brush motor. So this kit we picked up is a starter kit, which comes with this vice here. Um, if you look across here, zoom across there, you can also see Right at the back, we have the um, clamp down kit, which I think is 58 pieces, which gives you all the different studs, you get different clamps and everything, which get you sorted. And here we've got a whole lot of different collets uh, to suit. We've got six mil, hopefully you can focus. Sorry about the lighting, might be a little bit terrible. I've uh, got six mil, 12 mil, and 10 mil. And this one is a 16 mil. Good range of um, end mils here. They sort of range from that 16 mil all the way down to, I think there's a two and a half mil. No, there's actually a two mil here which with that size you don't have a collet for, you have to go back to the drill chuck. Uh, also, get all your tools you need, which is nice, some companies don't include these sort of tools anymore. Chuck for the drill. And there's also in a box of little, you know, you've got your Allen keys and all that. A um, couple more spare fuse, just a couple of more bits and pieces. So at the top here you've got your kill switch here. You can see here, which is your on button as well, which you hit it, which kills it, it's pretty simple. Fault light, power light once it's turned on, turn it on, you see the green light come on. You've got the speed control which goes from 0 to 2500 RPM. It's actually really, really quiet. Well, that's it at full power, you can barely hear it. So turn it back off, kill switch it. Okay, from this side you've got, you've got your big handle which gives you your big um, Z adjustments. Obviously if you don't, you only use that once you set the height that you need. And then this, once you've locked this into place, is your fine adjustment. Um, there is also a locking lockout here, which you would ideally you'd use if you're doing trying to do heavy cuts on something to lock it out to ensure that that, when you're passing through on your top of your metal, it's not trying to push this up or down or anything weird. All right, so you come down to your um, table adjustments here. This one's forward and back. Nice and easy to use. Um, then you've got your side one here, much the same. You've got your indicator dials that are there, probably might be a little bit hard to see. Indicator dials there as well. Uh, obviously this doesn't have your fancy digital readout. I believe there is an optional upgrade for these. I know there's a spindle um, sensor that plugs into the side. I think there's a port in the back. Yes, there is. Um, but it's obviously not needed, depending on what you're doing. Okay, so at your top here, you've got your cap. Underneath your cap is where you're going to remove the um, whatever you've got in here if you want to change it over. Which is going to be the 17 mil. Goes on your top. Um, you locate, you find a little hole that's here, and you're going to crack it off. Um, I found, I've already had a couple of goes of this, that you do need to, this normally glocks in pretty hard, which it has. So I find to wind it back in a little bit. And then I just use a rubber mallet, just give it a gentle couple of taps. They don't release it, so you've got to make sure that you screw that back in, because otherwise you can damage the threads. You unwind that all the way. Drop that out. Okay, so the bit we're putting in is just a two flute 12 mil bit, um, just what comes in the kit. Slide it up in place and tighten it back on. Put your dust cover back on. Once again, yeah, it's not a very nice fit, it sort of just sits there and we really load up some material. Okay, so we're just going to load up a little block of uh, uh, alloy here we got. Picked this up cheap. Uh, it's already had the faces machined, but we're just going to do it again. Uh, we'll take the roughest side. Obviously this is where you'd have some parallel blocks to set your height, because obviously this does, when you put it to the bottom, slower than the machine. 
We're just going to use just the Allen key just to set the height a little bit. Pull it back out, clamp it down. Just going to line it up back past the edge a little bit. Turn it on and we'll do some passes. All right, so we got that done. It looks like it's come out nice. So let's lose this up and get it out of the out of the vise. All right, so we got that all cut. Might be a little bit hard to see on the camera because all the shine, but um, that's cut really nice, very smooth. All we've done is we've just taken this tool and just deburred the edges. That's all we've done. Come up super nice. As you can see, this is the raw finish from we just bought these uh, cheap from a Facebook page that we found. So we were very happy with this machine. Um, we probably. 0.3 of the mil, I think, was about roughly what we took. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, but if you want to pick up this machine, uh, well, this is it here from aussie.com.au. Uh, it's 1450, obviously excluding post uh, for the starter kit. I think the machine alone, I think, is about 1200, I believe. Um, this is it here anyway, in case you got the price completely wrong. So, a huge thanks once again to Aussie com.au which has got to hook us up with this machine uh, we did pay for it but they looked after us with a good price for us to bring you this video uh, so if you want to you know mill lathe anything machinery wise they are the australia stockers or seg which is one of the biggest uh, mini manufacturers anyway there's many other companies that sort of got off brands of them that are much the same but if you want authentic zeg um, go see them thanks again